In this reaction, we have C25H52, which is a formula for wax, and we're combining with oxygen. So we're pretty much just burning a candle. Let's add the atoms up on each side and balance this equation. We have 25 carbon atoms, we have 52 hydrogen atoms, and then two oxygen atoms. Over on the product side, we have one carbon, hydrogen, we have two, and then oxygen, be careful, we have two, but we also need to count this one here, so we have three of those. Let's just start by balancing the carbons. If we put a 25 here as our coefficient, that means we have the one carbon times the 25. That'll give us 25 carbons. Those will be balanced. We do need to update our oxygens, though. So we have 25 times 2, that's 50 oxygens, plus the one that we have right there. So we have 51 oxygen atoms. Let's fix our hydrogens next. We have 52, so 2 times 26, that gives me 52. So I'll put a coefficient of 26 in front of the H2O. Now I have 2 times 26, that gives me 52. So we have the hydrogens balanced. We do need to update the oxygens. This 26 applies to the whole H2O water molecule. So we have our 2 times 25, there's our 50 oxygens, plus 1 times 26, so 50 plus 26 is 76 oxygen atoms. We need to have 76 oxygen atoms here on the reactant side for this to balance out. If we can do that, we're done. 2 times something is going to give me 76. 2 times 38 should do it. Let's put a 38 as our coefficient here. But a bird goes crazy. And 2 times 38 that equals 76 and uh, looks like we're done. This equation's balanced. The key to this, uh, leave the oxygens till last and be sure you count up all of the oxygens on the product side. So you have the two and the one. People sometimes forget that. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C25H52 plus O2. It gives us carbon dioxide and water. And thanks for watching.